for reading sheep, the kidnappers. Keeper was sad because the magic key would not glow. He looked at the key for a long time. At last, he fell asleep. Suddenly, the key glowed and the magic key began to work. Keeper's toys were coming to life. Teddy gave Keeper a shock. Wake up, he said. The magic key is glowing. The magic key is working. Keeper sat up and rubbed his eyes. He looked at his toys. Come on, Keeper, said Castmister. Hurry up. It's time for a magic adventure. The toys ran to the little house. Hurry up, Keeper, called the Teddy. Be quick, or it will be too late. Keeper could feel the magic working. It pulled him inside the magic house. The magic was to keep her round and round. Oh, help! called Keeper. I feel different. This is a different sort of magic. The magic took them to an airport. It was a very busy airport. Cat Mister was excited. Maybe we can clap, catch a play, she said. Maybe we can have an exciting adventure. There were bears everywhere. They were going to Switzerland. They're going to the teddy bears picnic, said Teddy. They have one every year. Maybe we can go too, said Bumbery. Kipper was not so sure. How can we? he asked. Of course we can go, said Teddy. This is a magic adventure. Kipper and his friend went on the airplane to Switzerland. They flew over lakes and mountains. What a beautiful place for a picnic, said Kipper. When the plane landed, everyone got off. There were lots and lots of bears. Kipper had never seen so many. They had come from all over the world. It's going to be a big picnic, said Kipper. There was a bus at the airport. It was going to the teddy bear's picnic. Come on, said Cat's mister. If we can run, we can catch this bus. Kipper liked Switzerland. It's beautiful here, said Kipper. It was fun on top of the bus. The bear waved at everyone and everyone waved back. At last, the bus arrived. Everyone got off. I've never seen so many bears, said Kipper. We had better stay together in case we get lost. Kipper and his friend found a good place to sit. Suddenly, a famous bear had come onto the stage. He waved at the crowd. Welcome to the teddy bear's picnic, he said. I know him, said Kipper. He is a very famous bird in it. I've read all his books. Another famous bear came onto the stage. He began to tell jokes and sing funny songs. Everyone laughed and cheered. I know that famous bear too, said Kipper. I've seen him on TV. A famous pop group came onto the stage. They played while the bears had their picnics. This is the best picnic I've ever been to, said Kipper. Kipper had an autograph book. He wanted some of the famous bears to sign their names. I can show them to Biff and Chip, said Kipper. Then they'll know I had a magic adventure. They went to find the famous bear, the, but there was trouble. Some nasty bears were pushing the famous bear into a car. It's a kidnap, said Bunbury. We must do something. The car speed away. Cat Mr. So ran. Come on, he shouted. Get in. We can follow the kidnappers in this way. Cat Mr. drove the van as fast as he could. The car went even faster. It drove up a mountain road. Faster, faster, called the Bumbery. Don't lose that, called the Teddy. The car drove through some big gates and stopped in front of the house. It looked dangerous, said Kipper, but we must rescue them. I have a plan. Kipper and Cat Mister went to the house. Kipper rang a bell. Some masked bears come to the door. Free honey, called the Kipper. Free honey for every bear. Some nasty bears were greedy and they couldn't waste the honey. They didn't see what Teddy and Bunbury were doing. 
Teddy went to the car and took out the keys. Bunbury went to the back of the house and looked through a window. He saw the famous bears. They were tied up. Bunbury set the famous bird free. Then they all climbed out of the window. Come on, said Teddy. Follow me and don't make a sound. The famous bear creeped into the honey fan. Some nasty the nasty bird didn't see them because they were too busy eating the honey. One of the nasty bears saw the famous bear was escaping. They're in the honey wet, he shouted, go after it. Clemister drove the honey wet as fast as he could. So the nasty bears ran after the wet, but they got stuck in the honey. Hooray, shouted the clipper. The famous bear was pleased with Kipper and his friend. You are very clever, they said. Thanks to you, the teddy bear picnic can go on. The magic key began to glow. It was time for Kipper's adventure to end. I can't wait to tell the friendship about it, he said. The magic key glowed last light, said Kipper. I had a magic adventure. We don't believe you, said Biff. No, it was just a dream, said Chip.